Coming to you from Annapolis, Maryland, home of the U.S. Naval Academy, the sailing capital of the world, home of the world's largest crab feast, and four signers of the Declaration of Independence. This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, a daily roundup of local news that you can use, including local sports, local events, local opinion, and local weather from DMV Weather. Now here's your host, publisher of Eye on Annapolis, John Frenet. Well, here we are. This is John Frenet. It is December 27th, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Hey, a quick reminder. If you like this daily news brief, please let your friends and coworkers know about it. You can subscribe to us anywhere you get your podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, any place you go. So now let's get into it. You know the comedian Bill Langball and his Here's Your Sign? It happened here in Annapolis. Yesterday, I had to put a disclaimer on that we usually don't editorialize on police reports, but boy, this woman is an exception. And I'll just read from the report here. The adult male victim was operating a vehicle when he noticed he was being followed by a vehicle. After being followed for some time, the victim drove into the parking lot of the Annapolis City Police Department. The other vehicle pulled up behind the victim's vehicle. The adult female driver pointed a handgun at the victim, and the victim feared he was going to be robbed, ran into the police station, attracting the attention of the officer on duty. Officers immediately went outside and stopped the suspects in their vehicle. They located a BB gun designed to look like a real gun. Inside the vehicle, they found all sorts of drugs. And they arrested Brea Evans, 23, of Owings Mills, and Patrick Palmer, 25, of Baltimore. Both suspects were arrested and charged with attempted armed robbery, possession of a CDS with intent to distribute, and nine other charges. Who the hell gets out of a car and tries to commit an armed robbery in the parking lot of a police station? Only in Annapolis. Maddox Terman, 59, of Baltimore's Locust Point neighborhood, has become the 25th person trying to bring a loaded gun past security at BWI in 2017. He is added to an elite list of idiots. Don't bring guns on planes, and he has been charged appropriately. Houston-based retailer Mattress Firm is closing about 200 stores. Currently, they have about 3,000 stores nationwide, and I suspect this will impact our area because they have Mattress Firm stores at the Festival at Riva, on Jennifer Road across from the Annapolis Mall, in Edgewater on Mayo Road, Housley Road over by Best Buy, and also up in Severna Park. So there may be some store shrinkage coming down the line pretty soon. A new smoke alarm law intended to save more lives is taking effect on January 1st. It's part of a nationwide trend to transition from old smoke detectors powered by 9-volt batteries to new smoke alarms that have a 10-year lifespan. Maryland is the most recent state to require the more modern alarms, which are tamper-resistant, and they last for 10 years without the battery needing to be replaced. Starting on New Year's Day, Maryland residents will be required to replace 9-volt battery-operated smoke detectors that are 10 years old or older with the new ones. Replacing batteries in an old smoke alarms can fall by the wayside, meaning that smoke detectors become inoperable. The newer detectors also come with a hush button if you're like me and you burn the bacon in the morning. So you just push the hush button and it temporarily silences the unit. Finally, as we look into tomorrow's Military Bowl, the festivities get underway tonight. From 4 to 6 p.m., you've got the Military Bowl Wine Walk at downtown Annapolis, and several art and antique galleries will be participating with wine tastings in partnership with the Maryland Wineries Association. If you're not an onophile, from 4 to 9 p.m., you've got the Military Bowl Pub Crawl in downtown Annapolis. You can jump into almost any bar down there, hop in on the pub crawl. They've got special prices on Budweiser and Bud Light. And that is all in preparation for the big day on the 28th. Parking lots will open at 7 a.m. at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. The tailgate begins at 9 a.m. and that is free. And in the middle of that, you're going to have the third annual Bud and Burgers battle. So you can actually buy a ticket for 25 bucks, get in there, get all the samples of the burgers you want, and select which burger is the best one in Annapolis. The parade, led by the Budweiser Clydesdales, will kick off at City Dock at 9.30. And that will also go up to the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. At 1 p.m., the pregame stuff starts for the game. And at 1.30, it is kickoff of the Military Bowl, presented by Northrop Grumman. This year, it is the 
Navy Midshipmen versus the University of Virginia Cavaliers. And if you didn't get enough of the Budweiser Clydesdales on the 28th, they are coming back into Annapolis on Friday, the 29th at 4 p.m. From 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., they're going to have a Budweiser Clydesdale meeting on West Street. They're going to close the first block of West Street, and you can get up close, personal, take selfies, pet the horses, everything else. Be a great experience for the family, 4 p.m. on Friday, December 29th. And if you're looking to get information on the Military Bowl during the Military Bowl, the best way is to follow us on Twitter at Eye on Annapolis, because we will be sending out periodic live updates throughout the game. Typically, it's at the end of the quarters, half and end of the game, but we've got the parade, we've got the tailgate and everything else, so there will be several tweets with audio updates from the game. So all we've got for the news today, hang tight. We've got George Young with DMV Weather coming right up. When we started the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, we weren't really sure how it would be received. Well, it went better than expected, and currently we have about 11,000 people listening to the Daily News Brief every month. And we also got some feedback. And we will be making a significant change on January 1st. We heard you loud and clear that this needs to be done earlier in the day. So on January 1st, you will be able to get your Daily News Brief at 7 a.m. every Monday through Friday. And we still will have your local weather from DMV Weather and local sports by Kevin Chaney, so nothing else is changing except for the hour. And for those that are listening but have not yet subscribed, the easiest thing to do is to head over to Apple Podcasts, which used to be called iTunes, Google Play, or whatever app you use to listen to podcasts, search for Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief, and subscribe. It's free, there's no cost, and then you never need to worry about it again. Every morning at 7 a.m., it'll be on your phone, tablet, or computer just waiting for you. Hey, thank you for a great start, and here's to a fantastic 2018. Did you know that more than 1,200 mental health patients had to be transferred last year by AAMC to facilities outside our area because these facilities do not exist right here in our own area? Denim and Diamonds is a fabulous, fun evening under the stars to support expanding mental health care in our community. AAMC Foundation proudly thanks RXNT for their generous $50,000 exclusive presenting sponsorship. Get more info at AAMC denimanddiamonds.org This is Maryland. The weather can be nearly unpredictable. We've got George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis to sort it all out. Hey everyone, this is George from DMV Weather with your Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, December 27th. We forecasted a target high temp of 31 degrees for today for downtown Annapolis and 30 degrees for BWI Airport in what will likely be the beginning of at least a 10-day stretch of weather in which temps barely get above the freezing mark, if at all, including tomorrow's Military Bowl right here in Annapolis in which temps will max out around 24 to 28 degrees for the high. As for those snow chances we've been talking about, we continue to like the chances for snow sometime in the Friday through Sunday time frame of this weekend, but there's no clear resolution yet on whether a storm will form and move up the eastern seaboard or whether it will be pushed out to sea by the approaching large high-pressure center of cold air with no impact to the area. So stay tuned as we should have an official forecast on this storm with the next podcast. Okay, that's it for us today. Be sure to download our free weather app in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store on all of your devices by searching for DC MDVA Weather and follow us on our website at dmvweather.com or on Twitter or Facebook. This is George Young of DMV Weather with your Annapolis forecast. Stay warm out there and remember, whatever the weather outside, have fun and be safe. Hey there, this is John Fernay and the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief is sponsored by, well, it could be you. Podcasting is a growing trend, and since launching on September 1st, we have more than 10,000 downloads of this podcast, plus thousands of listens on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. In addition to our Facebook page, All Annapolis, and our Twitter account, we distribute the daily news brief to Apple Podcasts, which used to be called iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and the TuneIn app that can be played on your Amazon Echo or Google Home device. We focus on local news, local weather, local events, and local sports, including high school and college. So our audience is pretty tightly targeted to the greater Annapolis area. And if you own or manage a local business, you're likely customer. Intrigued? Well, here's something to think about. Your company could be featured on this daily podcast for less than $20 a day. Interested? Shoot me an email and let's talk. My email address is john at 
ionanapolis.net, and that's E-Y-E-O-N-A-N-N-A-P-O-L-I-S, but you already knew that, dot net. Let's get together and see what we can make happen. Thanks for listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. If you like what you heard, make sure to tell your friends and colleagues about it. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find much more. Be sure to check out our other weekly podcast, The Maryland Crabs. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at noon. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.